it's me, Shadow, and I'm here to show you all how to get some of the best loots really easy, really fast, and also explain how to do the Dynamax quest line in Pixelmon and Pokinicraft. So if you do enjoy, be sure to leave those likes, subscribes, comments down below, and if you want to become a channel member, you can in the description, tier 2 channel members and up, get access to any and all servers I end up making. So if you want to play and hang out with them on me, uh, with me sometimes, weird. Uh, please feel free to do so. It's completely optional, and otherwise we do raffles. So, wah. First thing is that if you're trying to find any good stuffs in the overworld, the best place to go is in the deserts, because it's really easy to see the structure that has all those good loots inside of them, because as you can see, you're looking for these types of structures. You look like a mini temple, sort of, with a little chain in the top. You go on down, and inside of each of these is going to be a... Master Ball Chest, which can give you anything from EXP shares, EXP share alls, rare candies, Master Balls, you name it. And this time I happen to get the Power Bracer, which there is not a recipe for yet. I think <clears throat> Kian, you might want to add that at some point. Simple and easy enough. Ah, perfect timing. The second place you're going to want to go is inside of these little wormholes to Ultra Space. Let me show you why. One second. Now, in Ultra Space, there's a few things that are a little weird. Number one is that you have basically no gravity sometimes. It's a little weird. Number two is that there's these structures like this one right here, which always house at most one beast ball. I'm going to, uh, I guess I have to break in here to find it. They're also made of uh, materials, so super valuable to get into. What the heck? Mine a pipe in the Ultra Crater biome. That's... Definitely a thing I didn't know was a thing. Hmm, doesn't appear to be one in here. That's fine. But, ah. If we just zoom on to the end of this, there should be a little outcropping somewhere that has a beast ball inside of it. Now, obviously, this isn't the best biome, so give me one second. Aha, here we go. We have a chest, which has some stones, shards, crystals, all those types of things. We have, of course, uh, little drop-downs that take you even deeper into these locations. Hmm, it looks like this one did not have anything inside of it, unfortunately. Most of them do, so it's weird that this one didn't. Alright, as you can see, inside here is an Ultra Beast Ball, so we're just going to break into here. Obviously, there's some good loots in there. If right click this, it gives you some stuff like Grass Team Z, mostly. That's usually what's inside of the Beast Balls, but they are still pre <coughs> pretty solid. To get so don't pass them up you can also get the plates for like Arceus and whatnot really snazzy really easy to do uh, just keep flying around not flying around unless you have the ability to fly or you're playing on an older version because I'm gonna be honest some people probably don't want to update I get it I feel it that's not the way it was intended to be played though guys so I hope you update it at some point like when you get the uh, words Oop, is that a chest? Nope. Like when you get the uh, ability to fly, go to the new versions. That's where all the new stuff is. I feel you though. And uh, I'm just going to float around in Ultra Space and I'm going to tell you how to get the Dynamax Band, which is a really big pain. And I don't blame you for cheating for this one. So, the ways to get the Ultra Band, Dynamax Band, whatever you want to call it, you have to do a quest line that you get from a NPC that you have no way of spawning you have to naturally find them it is the magenta quest line for shooting star dynamax this is a four stage quest uh which you know doesn't take too long to do it's just very tedious you must defeat 75 to 100 wild pokemon and capture 25 to 35 wild pokemon after talking to the npc you go back to the npc and talk to them again, defeat 25 to 35 trainers, which is going to be the hard part, and then go back to the NPC, and at that point, you will be given the Dynamax Band. Now, you can just do give yourself Dyna... Hmm. I know that is a way to do it. I know that is a way to do it. Uh, I guess... Ah. You just type in Di Dynamax Band, and it just gives it to you. So, Dynamax Band. I now have the Dynamax Band. It's over here. 
If you want to do it that way, I don't blame you, but that's not the way, I mean, it's, it's kind of annoying otherwise. If you want to do, like, just you and your friends roleplay, whatever you want, it's not that hard. It's that pretty simple. And so, uh, that is everything that I feel needs to be said for those types of things. If you have any other further questions, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, all those things down below. Again, channel members can join the Pokemon Craft Sue server that I have, so... If you do want to do that and support me, please feel free to do so. It is completely optional and up to you. So see ya, and love ya. Bye.